This video was created to provide information for those wishing to learn about car insurance market in Florida. Before starting the video, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel, put a like and a comment under the video. It's free for you and very important to me. Thank you for your generosity. I will present you several official statistics and figures that will allow you to choose your car insurance in Florida. In 2020, there were 314,399 car accidents on Florida state roads. With several thousands fatal car accidents and 3,332 people who were died. In addition, Florida State has a very high number of traffic accidents each year. Despite the slight decline in serious accidents year after year, Florida remains one of the states with the highest number of car accident deaths. It is therefore on this basis that we will be able to begin our analysis of data concerning car insurance in Florida. First of all, you have to understand that the price of car insurance varies greatly depending on age. Indeed, teenagers tend to be charged more because they are generally the category of people who are the least experienced and who are involved in the most accidents in Florida. Thereafter the prices tend to fall according to age, because people who start to be 30 years old, but also those of 40 or 50 years old are those who have the fewest accidents, because they have a lot of experience. Thus, having a good driving record can significantly lower the price of car insurance for people of this age after age 70 drivers begin to age and experience diminished alertness, when driving on the roads the price of insurance therefore tends to increase from the age of 70. There are different car insurance companies in Florida. All these companies have specific pricing for each customer based on their age driving history driving style type of car, and many other criteria rates can therefore vary enormously between two car insurance companies. To find the right insurance company, it is important to get at least three quotes from different insurers. According to experts, doing this allows you to compare prices, offers and associated services and the characteristics of insurance before making your final choice. We can now take a look at various statistics concerning car accidents in Florida. Indeed, these elements will make it easier for us to understand the importance of the car insurance market and how it is possible to reduce the annual price of your car insurance as much as possible. In Florida, driving under the influence of the alcohol is the main cause of car accidents for 32% of them. Then come speeding with 31% of car accidents in Florida. We also find distraction. This category includes elements such as mobile phones. Bad weather can also cause accidents with rain which can make the tires slip more easily. Similarly, the sun, when it comes from the front, can dazzle and drivers drive more riskily. Improper turning is placed in the category of speed because generally, speed and bad turns are linked to cause an accident. In Florida, speed and drinking make more than 60% of car accidents. A person who has committed one of these offenses will automatically have a much higher car insurance price than a driver who has never had this type of cause that can induce an accident more easily. A good way to pay less for your car insurance is therefore simply to be a good driver who does not drive too fast who is not distracted and who does not drive when he has drunk alcohol. Every day in Florida, there are around 935 car accidents occurred. That's about 39 accident every hour, so it is very important in just one state in comparison with the other states. This can be explained by the number of population in Florida which is quite high. Indeed Florida is the third most populous state in the United States with approximately 22 million inhabitants. This gives a large number of cars that travel on Florida roads every day. Moreover, the places where accidents happen the most in Florida are intersections with 928 fatal accidents that occurred in an intersection in Florida in 2020. With speed and lack of vigilance, intersections are the places with the most people who died in Florida. We can also note that about eight fatal car accidents occur every day in Florida. Another interesting figure is the fact that 48% of car accidents in the state occur at night. These data express the presence of road accidents in Florida every day. This also explains why insurance companies apply sometimes high prices in their contracts. Car insurance rates vary greatly in different cities in Florida. We can see that car insurance prices are divided in two depending on whether you live in North or South Florida. Indeed, cities like Jacksonville or Ocala are cheaper than cities south of Miami or West Palm Beach. Similarly, the city of Miami offers car insurance prices on average 40% more expensive than the average price in Florida. The state of Florida is therefore very specific by the metropolitan areas of Miami and Tampa which applies very high car insurance prices compared to other cities in the state such as Pensacola, Gainesville, or Cape Coral. 
most metropolitan areas also tend to have a higher cost of living meaning the costs of car components like doors or wheels and labor to assemble parts and repair them are more expensive as is medical care. The gender type criteria is often put forward by insurance companies in order to adjust the rates of car insurance contracts indeed men tend to be the most involved in car accidents because they are likely to engage in risky behavior. Thus, some insurance companies prefer to predict accidents by charging more expensive car insurance contracts for men. If you are a man, it is therefore possible that you will have to pay a little more for your car insurance than women. As we have said before, having good driving on the roads is one of the best ways to reduce your insurance costs. When you are subject to traffic tickets accidents or convictions for impaired driving insurance companies are more likely to consider you a risky driver. So, these kinds of convictions such as speeding tickets and at-fault accidents can dramatically increase your annual insurance rates because the insurance company will take a lot more risk to insure you if you are a bad driver. Impaired driving is arguably the most serious offense for insurance. A case of driving under the influence such as alcohol can cost you thousands of dollars a year in premiums and insurance costs and can stay on your driving record for life in Florida this means that you will always pay more for insurance than other drivers. The total amount people are willing to pay for car insurance also depends on the cost of living in the state of Florida. As we can see from the graph car insurance represents only 77% of the total expenses of the population in Florida. The most important expense being the rent or the repayment of the housing loan, next come expenses for children, such as healthcare school and other toys to buy. There is of course food and property tax, which represents an important part of family expenses. It is important to manage your budget well and note all these expenses to be sure to pay for car insurance that is not too expensive and above our budget. There are two different types of rates for car insurance in Florida. Indeed, there is a minimum insurance with basic insurance services and which is therefore mandatory to drive safely. The average annual minimum coverage premium for car insurance in Florida is $1,101 at minimum. In addition, it is also possible to subscribe to a full coverage car insurance, which thus makes it possible to be insured against many problems related to the possession of a car, such as broken car windows or theft. It is also possible to be protected against certain accidents with specific causes. In Florida, the average annual full coverage premium for car insurance is around $2,364. The credit score is very important in the pricing of the insurance contract. This is valid for all insurances. Indeed, if a driver's credit score is low, the price of his car insurance will tend to increase sharply because he will be much more likely to have driving problems. Insurance companies therefore anticipate that the person with a bad credit score will be more likely to make claims and ultimately cost the insurance company more money. Credit score rates are therefore based on the risk that the insurance company takes to insure a bad driver and the likelihood that he will be involved in a traffic-related problem. To obtain car insurance coverage, drivers must also pay third-party liability charges used by the insurance in the event of bodily injury or property damage resulting from an accident. These costs are therefore divided into bodily injury per person, bodily injury, but also property damage per accident, and finally costs related to personal injury protection coverage. Don't hesitate to put a like under the video and write a comment to tell me how much you pay for your car insurance. Also remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and watch the other videos on the YouTube channel. Have a very good day and see you soon.